There we are. Okay. So let me show you exactly what needs to be done here and the reason why my rent is a little bit late besides me going into the hospital and having therapy and everything else. So for the most part, as you can see, okay, this right here, I have a loose latch on my door. Doesn't even work half the time, so which needs, needless to say, um, I have to work with it in order to secure the place. But that's just the beyond that. Four months ago, I had asked for a replacement on my window because somebody threw an object through it and the guy basically got away. But here's the deal, you know, if you can see this at all, this window is definitely cracked. It's not been replaced in the last four months at all. So I have to tape this warning sign in front of it so that way people get the idea that it's actually all in one piece. When, if we look at it even further, no, I did not break this myself. This happened on account of my goddaughter who is now serving time in jail for arson, but she got caught out in some craziness that allowed somebody to basically just throw a, a steel piece of thing through my window and um, my window has been unsecure for like the last four to five months, all right? Okay, now for the last four or five months, as you can see, this shower head is broken. But as we turn it on, it goes everywhere. See that? It goes everywhere. This has been sitting like this for the last four to five months. This is the reason why I haven't been able to pay rent get a job or, you know, be humanly close to living in a comfortable position the way I should be. So, this is what I get for four or five months. And that means the water leaks on the floor and subsequently, when it leaks on the floor, it goes everywhere. So I can't take a shower. This little slide thing right here, all this uh, warpage and everything, this has been like this since I've been here. Whereas everybody has a new refrigerator, I have a used one that leaks periodically, and when we come back, that tray will be full of water because I will not touch it. But I have to empty it almost every day because this refrigerator is old and it's leaky, and this is a roach infested apartment along with bed bugs. Let's get to that real quick. Now, if you can see this up here, see this up here? This roof right here, it leaks. It leaks badly. It leaks very badly. So pretty much in the corners of it and everything, I have uh, placed plastic in it. And if the water drips too much underneath here, I keep this tray of water uh, I keep this bucket of water up here to keep it from draining all over my computer equipment, which has been ruined twice in this place already. So I'm never going to get money out of that. Okay, so therein lies the problem there. There's a leak in the side of the roof. And this is not only in my apartment, but also in Mario's apartment. And they're expecting full rid out of this. Oh, and by the way, the hole in the wall up on the ceiling here, up on the ceiling back there, right there, that's been here ever since I moved here. Four, no, about six, seven, eight years ago, it's been here. It's never been fixed. Now, amazingly enough, you see this orange cord right here? This is the only working outlet besides that in the bathroom that actually works. But this orange cord goes all the way around, okay? all the way around, past the broken uh, smoke detector, all the way down. And this thing goes all the way around here. As you can see, it goes around and it powers all of this. All of this. All this electronic stuff in here. It powers everything off of this one socket. And I have 
surge protectors on everything, everywhere. And it's virtually a jungle of wires, a potential fire hazard because the quote unquote plug, the only one plug that I have here, hooks into everything in one plug. Well, now for the more depressing parts of my life. As soon as this radio station gets ready to go, the devil sticks his tongue out and trips me up. Take a minder and so forth. This is what I live in. You got roaches all in my freezer. But they usually show up whenever I buy food and then they die there. So I gotta leave this here for evidence. Oh, and because this is I, I live right here by the first apartment, there's a bird's nest growing right in the plumbing. See this? Then we pull back. And that's where the bird's nest is at. As you. Hey, because of the water leak to the apartment and subsequently uh, the leakage up here in the ceiling, I have just lost one of my monitors to my business. So therefore, I'm out of a monitor. Great, just great. Oh, and I forgot, I do have a business license here and since the damages to my computer system and my uh, business has been adversely affected, um, this will go into a court of law. As you can see, I do have the, you know, the names of the place of the, of the owners, the name, address, issued for a tax purposes only yada ya da 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 that's where it started status new okay description and there it is it must be posted at a place of business okay <laughs> Oh, and did I fail to mention that we have a severe bed bug problem manifestation in here. We have a severe bed bug manifestation in here uh, that's been with this building ever since day one. And that was like about, you know, 2009. As you can see, my monitor took extensive water damage. So therefore, you know, waterproofing in the house has never been done since I moved in. As you can see, the shower head was rusted completely through. Okay, you can see this right here. It's rusted through. These pipes have been here since the 1920s, and nothing has been done since then to retrofit or fix them when they built this attachment bathroom on top of this side of the house, which sits separately from it. Unfortunately, the water drippage still happens. And in order for that not to be a viable thing in selling the apartment, you don't tell people. So that way, when it keeps happening, it ruins my equipment to my business, and therefore, I have to replace all of my items on my own. So, without further ado, here comes the inspection. Hi, how are you? Oh, that's fine, that's fine. And uh, your name? Oh, Louis. Louis, Louis, great. Yeah. All righty. So this is number one, right? Mm-hmm. Two of the plumbing fixtures. All right. Okay. This one is fairly secure. Look at plumbing fixtures. Plumbing fixtures, that would be in the shower. Okay. So the shower's been fixed. That's right. been fixed, so it, it works regularly now. I'm just a little bit too tall for it. Oh, okay. Okay, that, that, seemed, that seems to be the, the mutual basis of the reason why it's broke. Um, but that didn't work uh, at, at one point. Um, the sink is fine. There's okay. nothing wrong with the sink. Okay. Uh, it's just that there seems to be a roach problem coming from out of it, and that was the that was one of the major things that I had issues with. Um, 
and it could stem from the fact that there's like you know a serviceable hole from the piping underneath it here 